Have you ever noticed that the land of Israel is always at the center of the most impactful events in human history? Few places have been so deeply intertwined with the divine as the ancient land of Israel. From the days of Abraham to the mysterious events prophesied in the book of Ezekiel, Israel has been the epicenter of occurrences that transcend time and space. So the attacks the country has received from Iran and its allies indicate a growing tension that many believe is part of a prophetic scenario. Throughout this video I will shock you with crucial revelations about Israel in the end times, a theme that has terrified and wore our eyes. Before we begin, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. We would also be very happy to know where you are watching us from. Please leave your comment below and become part of our community. In recent years, Israel has been the target of increasing attacks and threats of destruction from Iran. For many, these are not just political and military events but part of a larger prophetic scenario unfolding before our eyes. The Bible has already predicted many of these events. Iran, through its rhetoric of destroying Israel and its support for terrorist groups like Hezbollah and Hamas, has fueled tension in the region. So many see these attacks as part of a cycle of hatred that began after the creation of the State of Israel in 1948. The Bible already warned us that these hostilities would be part of a much larger scenario. Israel is described in the Bible as a heavy stone for all nations, and the attacks it faces are more than political issues. They are part of a great divine plan that will culminate in the last days. Since the Islamic Revolution of 1979, Iran has positioned itself as one of Israel's greatest adversaries. Frequently, Iranian leaders call for the destruction of Israel and support groups like Hezbollah and Hamas, escalating the conflicts. But what many do not see is that these attacks are not just political but are part of a spiritual and prophetic war. In the book of Ezekiel, chapters 38 and 39, we find the intriguing prophecy of Gog and Magog. Gog from the land of Magog will lead a coalition of nations against Israel in the last days. And many scholars identify Magog as nations to the north of Israel, possibly Russia and its allies. The prophecy mentions allies like Persia, the ancient name of Iran, suggesting that Iran would play a crucial role in this coalition against Israel in the last days. The Bible describes that this alliance will try to invade Israel but will be divinely defeated. God's intervention will be powerful. Earthquakes, confusion among enemy armies, and even fire from heaven will be divine instruments to defeat the forces that rise against Israel. And many believe that current events are the prelude to this great battle. While the scenario seems frightening it serves to show that God will protect Israel, as he promised. Another key piece of the prophetic puzzle is the drying up of the Euphrates River. Then see, in Revelation 16, 12, we read that the waters of the Euphrates will dry up, preparing the way for the kings of the east. The Euphrates River, which crosses strategic territories like Iraq and Syria, has been for millennia an important source of life, sustenance, and trade for the civilizations that developed along its banks. This river not only sustains agriculture and livestock but also serves as a crucial route for the transportation of goods and as a natural barrier that influences the geopolitics of the region. In recent years we have seen a drastic decrease in the level of the Euphrates waters. Several factors contribute to this reduction, including climate change, prolonged droughts, and the increased use of water for irrigation and urban consumption. Scientists and experts have been closely monitoring this trend pointing to a significant decrease that could have profound implications for local populations and regional stability. Water scarcity not only affects the availability of essential resources for survival but also intensifies tensions between the countries that share this vital river. For some interpreters of the Bible, this decrease in the Euphrates waters is seen as a direct fulfillment of the prophecy mentioned in Revelation 16.12. The interpretation suggests that the drying up of the Euphrates is not just an environmental phenomenon, but a divine sign that prepares the way for future events of great spiritual and geopolitical importance. The prophecy indicates that with the Euphrates drying up, the movement and invasion of the forces referred to as the kings of the east will be facilitated. These kings of the east are often interpreted as a reference to powerful nations, such as China or other Asian powers that, with the natural barrier of the Euphrates removed, will have a freer passage to the Holy Land. This would pave the way for a massive military invasion, aligning with Revelation's description of the forces gathering for the final battle known as Armageddon. The release of the Euphrates waters would remove a significant geographical obstacle, allowing these forces to move quickly 
and more effectively toward their goals. Additionally, the drying up of the Euphrates may have multiple consequences beyond prophetic fulfillment. The reduction of waters directly affects local agriculture, leading to food shortages and increasing the vulnerability of populations to humanitarian crises. This, in turn, may exacerbate existing conflicts and generate new tensions among the countries that depend on this river for their basic needs. The resulting instability may create an environment conducive to the formation of military and strategic alliances that could be aligned with the prophetic purposes described in the scriptures. In summary, the drying up of the Euphrates River is seen as a multifaceted event that not only has significant environmental and humanitarian implications, but is also interpreted by some as a prophetic sign that prepares the way for the last great battle. Armageddon. The removal of the natural barriers provided by the Euphrates will facilitate the mobility of the Eastern forces, aligning with biblical prophecies describing a massive invasion of the Holy Land. This event, therefore, is considered by many as one of the main indicators that the final times are approaching. You feel that we are living in challenging times but still cannot fully comprehend what is happening around us. To help you understand more clearly and quickly the signs surrounding us, it is crucial to be aware of the prophecies that are being fulfilled in our days. Many still do not realize the magnitude of what is happening in the world, and that is exactly why I decided to offer something special to all the channel subscribers, an exclusive digital ebook entitled The Secret Behind the Holy Bible. This book is an unmissable opportunity to access impactful revelations about biblical prophecies that will open your eyes to the current reality. Do not let this unique chance pass you by the knowledge contained in this ebook can transform the way you see the events around you, offering a new perspective on the global occurrences that are directly connected to what was prophesied millennia ago. And the best part, the process to get your gift is quick and simple. Just click on the link available in the first pinned comment to immediately download the ebook. Another crucial event awaiting fulfillment is the reconstruction of the Third Temple in Jerusalem. The temple holds extraordinary importance for the Jewish people, being not only a religious symbol but also a historical and cultural landmark that dates back millennia. Currently, there are active plans and significant efforts aimed at rebuilding this sacred temple. Various groups are engaged in preparing liturgical utensils and training priests, demonstrating a deep commitment to revitalizing traditional religious practices. The reconstruction of the Third Temple is not just an architectural initiative, it carries profound spiritual and prophetic implications. According to the scriptures, especially in passages like Daniel 9.27 and Matthew 24.15, this temple will play a tragic role in the final events of the last days. These prophecies mention the abomination of desolation, an act of desecration of the temple by the Antichrist which will mark the beginning of a period of great tribulation for humanity. Many scholars and interpreters of biblical prophecies believe that this tragic event will occur during the middle of the seven years of peace that Israel is expected to celebrate with its enemies. This seven-year period is often referred to as the Week of Time, or the Seven-Year Treaty, during which a peace agreement will be signed by Israel with various adversary nations. Initially, this peace agreement will be signed by a figure known as the Antichrist who at first will be perceived as a man of peace and a skilled diplomat, capable of resolving complex conflicts and bringing stability to the region. Recent peace agreement will be a moment of great inflection, where the Antichrist, taking advantage of the trust and peace established, will betray the peace agreement and desecrate the newly rebuilt temple. This act of desecration will not only violate the sacred religious space, but also trigger a series of catastrophic events that will culminate in the full manifestation of God's plan for the last days. Moreover, the reconstruction of the Third Temple is closely linked to the expectation of the return of Jesus Christ, which, according to prophecy, will occur immediately after these events of great tribulation. The presence of the Temple in Jerusalem is seen as a central element in the fulfillment of eschatological prophecies, serving as a stage for the final confrontations between the forces of good and evil. In summary, the reconstruction of the Third Temple in Jerusalem is not just a religious or architectural endeavor. It is an essential component of the great prophetic plan that outlines the final events of the end times. The diligent preparation for this temple, along with the political and natural signs we are already observing, indicates that we are increasingly closer to the fulfillment of biblical prophecies. For believers, this represents not only a call to vigilance and spiritual preparation, but also a reaffirmation of hope in divine intervention and the final victory of good over evil. There is a greater agreement to come, 
which will bring a false sense of peace to the world. Many believe this will be the moment when the Antichrist will be revealed. During the first three and a half years of this treaty, there will be peace, but halfway through this period, the Antichrist will break the agreement, and the abomination of desolation will occur, marking the beginning of the contraction of God's plan, and the world will see a time of great tribulation. The Antichrist, described in 2 Thessalonians 2 and Revelation 13, will be a charismatic leader who will deceive the world. He will be accepted by many as the savior of humanity. During the peace agreement period, he will reveal himself as an oppressor, establishing a regime of tyranny and demanding worship. Under the Antichrist's regime, everyone will be required to accept the mark of the beast, without which no one can buy or sell. So this period is described as the darkest days in human history, but also the prelude to the glorious return of Christ. This leader will make a seven-year covenant with many nations, including Israel. He will be seen as a man of peace, someone capable of resolving complex conflicts. But after three and a half years of this peace period, he will break the agreement, revealing his true evil nature. At that point, the world will enter a time of great tribulation, known as the Great Distress, as described in Matthew 24:21. The nation of Israel is often pointed to as God's clock, and with every new event in the Holy Land, the eschatological clock seems to advance toward the end of times. There is a greater agreement to come, destined to bring a false sense of peace to the world. This agreement is seen by many as one of the most significant events that will precede the revelation of the Antichrist. Initially, during the first three and a half years of this treaty, there will be apparent global stability and harmony. This period of peace will be characterized by diplomatic advances, international cooperation, and a widespread sense of security. However, this peace will be superficial and deceptive, designed to mask the true intentions of the Antichrist. The Antichrist, as described in the scriptures in 2 Thessalonians 2 and Revelation 13, will emerge as a charismatic and persuasive leader, capable of gaining the trust and admiration of many. His ability to resolve complex conflicts and promote global unity will make him be seen as a savior of humanity. This leader will be able to articulate solutions to global problems such as economic crises, armed conflicts and environmental issues, consolidating his position of power and influence. During the peace agreement period, the Antichrist will establish a regime of tyranny that, initially, may seem beneficial and progressive. However, as time goes on, his true oppressive and authoritarian nature will begin to reveal itself. He will start to impose laws and regulations that restrict individual freedoms, suppress dissent, and consolidate his control over society. The demand for worship of the Antichrist will be one of the most alarming aspects of his regime, representing a direct affront to the spiritual and religious principles upheld by many traditions. One of the most terrifying elements of this period will be the imposition of the mark of the beast, as described in Revelation 13. Without this mark, known as the mark of the beast, no one will be able to buy or sell, creating a global economic system controlled by the Antichrist. This system will force everyone to accept the mark as a condition to participate in the world economy, effectively eliminating individual freedom and establishing a new world order under the Antichrist's dominion. This period of tyranny and oppression is described as the darkest days in human history, marked by suffering, persecution, and despair. However, these events also serve as a prelude to the glorious return of Christ, who will bring redemption and final justice, ending the reign of evil and establishing God's kingdom. The Antichrist will make a seven-year covenant with many nations, including Israel, according to the biblical prophecy known as the Week of Time, or the Seven-Year Treaty. This peace treaty will initially be signed with the intention of promoting stability and international cooperation but it will serve as a mechanism for the execution of the Antichrist. Half years will be of relative peace, while the last three and a half years will be marked by the breaking of the treaty and the beginning of the Great Tribulation. After the three and a half years of peace, the Antichrist will break the peace agreement, declaring war against God and initiating the abomination of desolation in the Third Temple in Jerusalem. So as prophesied in Daniel 9.27, and Matthew 24:15. This act of desecration will not only violate the sacred religious space but also trigger a series of catastrophic events that will lead to a period of great tribulation for humanity. During this tribulation, the world will face unprecedented challenges, including wars, natural disasters, religious persecution, and a deep moral crisis.
The nation of Israel, often described as God's clock, will play a central role in these final events. Every new occurrence in the Holy Land, such as conflicts, technological advances, and geopolitical changes, is seen as a sign that the biblical prophets are being fulfilled, signaling the proximity of Christ's return. In short, the greater agreement that is to come, although it initially brings a false sense of peace, will serve as a catalyst for the revelation of the Antichrist and the beginning of a period of great tribulation. This period will be marked by oppression, the imposition of the mark of the beast, and the abomination of desolation setting the stage for the glorious return of Christ and the fulfillment of biblical prophecies about the last days. Vigilance and spiritual preparation are essential for believers as the end times are approaching rapidly and redemption is closer than ever. As the global geopolitical scenario aligns with the fulfillment of biblical prophecies, the events in Israel add to the accounts of God's Word. The biblical accounts determine Israel's future destiny due to this people being part of God's promises to Abraham, which is why they have been preserved throughout time. So in this sense Israel's future is intrinsically tied to prophecies, which also include the return of Jesus Christ. In addition to being centered in the city of Jerusalem and the Jewish people throughout history, including the creation of the State of Israel on May 14th, 1948. Everything that has happened and everything else that will happen to Israel at the same time it is of utmost importance to pray for peace in Israel. Following a biblical command that instructs us to intercede for the tranquility and security of this country. This imminent peace points to the emergence of a terrible figure, the Antichrist. He will make an alliance with many nations for a period of seven years, a direct reference to the Jewish people, adding to Daniel's prophecy and the words of the Apostle Paul. According to this interpretation, when the nations proclaim peace and safety, it will be the prelude to sudden destruction, comparable to the pains of a woman in labor, from which no one will escape. In this interpretation of Christian eschatology, the events in Israel and the cry for peace are clearly a preparation for the rise of the Antichrist figure. This evil leader is also expected to accelerate the reconstruction of the Third Temple in Jerusalem. The rebuilding of the Temple is seen as an essential step toward the fulfillment of biblical prophecies, setting the stage for the final events of the last days. At the end of this process, prophecy also points to a break in this peace agreement and an attack by nations against Israel, which will be surrounded in Jerusalem by the armies of the Antichrist. When these nations cry out for salvation, it is at this exact moment that the Lord Jesus will return to Israel, as per the divine promise. He will step on the Mount of Olives, which will split in two, and the Jews will look upon Jesus, whom they pierced, and mourn for him as one mourns bitterly for an only son, as described in Zechariah 14.4 and 12.10. This event will mark the fulfillment of biblical prophecies and the culmination of God's plans for the last days. The attacks on Israel, the prophecy of Gog and Magog, the drying up of the Euphrates Paju, and the future arrival of a peace agreement are all unequivocal signs that the end times are approaching. However, for those who are in Christ, these prophecies are not a cause for fear but rather for preparation and hope. Jesus warned us about these events and promised that he would return to establish his kingdom of peace and justice. All of this points to the sequence of final events, indicating that we are living in a crucial transitional era. Those who trust in Christ should not fear these turbulent times but should prepare spiritually and emotionally for Jesus. Return. It is a call to be watchful, firm in faith, and ready for redemption, for the time is near and our redemption is closer than ever. Spiritual vigilance and unwavering trust in Jesus are essential to face the challenges that lie ahead. May we always be attentive and prepared, for the return of Christ is nearer than ever before. May our confidence be firmly established in Him, and may we proclaim the truth of the gospel to the ends of the earth. It is crucial to stay aware of the signs of the times, prepare our hearts for the arrival of the Savior, and place our trust in Jesus. Soon, he will return to fulfill all the promises made in the scriptures. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell to receive more content about biblical prophecies and current events. Share it with your friends and family and help us spread this message of hope and preparation for the end times. Don't forget to download our book, The Secret Behind Biblical Prophecies. We have already sold over 500,000 copies, and we are down to the last units. So don't waste time and take advantage. I guarantee that you will gain a lot of knowledge after reading this sensational book.
made with much care and love for all the subscribers of our channel, fully based on the Holy Bible. The link is in the first pinned comment. It is important to remember that biblical prophecies are matters of faith and interpretation, but the central message is to trust in God's sovereignty over the course of history. Therefore, vigilance and spirituality are fundamental in light of these prophetic events. And don't forget to leave your comments below sharing what this message means to you. Subscribe now to receive more edifying content like this.